Hello and welcome to Miller Realty Group's Talk of the Town Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Mercer. Are you prepared? Well, let's find out at the TKK Fire Department's open house. Let's check it out. Chief Hasty, it's a big day here today in TKK. It is. It's a great afternoon. It's raining a little bit, but we're still going to do our open house. That's right. We're here so. to share information and educate people. So. Tell me some of the things that you have planned for the open house today. We have an education station where we're going to teach people about getting out alive. Uh, exit drills in a home, that's the focus this year for our event. Uh, we're also doing an extrication demonstration where we actually cut a car apart. Uh, if someone has a bad wreck, sometimes the car collapses around them. Well, we have the ability to take the car apart and to cut that and remove the car from around the person so we can safely move the person out of the car. Uh, we're also doing a ladder demonstration where we'll do a pickoff where the firefighter will put a firefighter in a, a Stokes basket, which is a basket we put patients in, and give them a, a ride using ropes and an aerial device on a truck. So we can pick them up, say from a water tower or whatever, if we have someone that goes down there we has a medical emergency, we can actually pick them up and move them using a the ladder company and some ropes. Wow. This is very visual, and I would it imagine is. it has to be visual for it to make the impact that you're hoping it will today. It does. It does. And you know, we've got great partners here. Uh, the Lions Club's here with us uh, doing vision screenings for children. Uh, EMS is here with us. Tell me a little bit about your role uh, as it relates to being the chief and really the authority over the fire department here in TKK. It's, uh, it's, it's actually a great role. I've got a, a great group of people. I'm fairly new to the position. I've been here for five months and uh, you know, inherited a great thing. Uh, these guys and girls have done a great job preparing for any emergency we may have. Uh, we've got a little bit of vision change uh, just because there's some things that we can do and uh, just improve our response and the capabilities we have for our public. Mm -hmm. So we're doing those as we speak. A lot of things going and growing. This place is great. Tell me a little bit about your experience. How, you know, when did you know that you wanted to be a firefighter? I started in 1985 as a 16-year-old kid. 16, so and you knew? I did. I, I got in, I had no idea. It was, uh, it was just one of those things that I did as, uh, because we had a fire in our neighborhood, and I started talking to the firefighters there and they encouraged me to come to the fire station and get involved. Mm -hmm. I did, and I got hooked. Uh, by 18, when I graduated from high school, I was trying to get on a, a paid department somewhere, and the city of Charlotte picked me up. And uh, I did that for 29 years, and I retired in April and came here. And it's <laughs> been awesome. It's been awesome. And it's a family affair, too. I understand you've got a daughter who is also interested I do. in helping and saving lives. I do. I do. She's in nursing school. She is a certified firefighter and hopes to get her EMT. So it is turning into a family business for us as well. <laughs> is this something that you do every year? It's something fairly new to us. We've done open houses in the past. Uh, the last time it was an open house here was when we opened the fire station in 2017. So this is more of an open house to invite people into our house so we can educate people, so we can share who we are. We're, we're people just like everybody else and we want to welcome people in our home. Well, today you look like people, but if there is a, a, a situation that calls for firefighters and first responders, you guys are so intense about saving lives that it can be a scary moment. Absolutely. Why is it so important then to learn about it now instead of in the moment of a catastrophe? This is a more relaxed environment. Uh, we've actually got turnout gear for the children to wear, and we're going to challenge the parents to dress as well. So <laughs> they'll be able to put the gear on and see what it feels like, what it looks like. Uh, so they're not scared of us in time of need. We want them to come to us and not run away from us. So it's super important to get them in and get them used to who we are. We're just like everybody else. We want to help. Well, one thing about it, you can control putting up a smoke alarm, but if you're in an accident driving your car and suddenly you cannot get out, we can't always control that. That's right. And you're doing a demonstration today to show us how you would save our lives potentially. That's exactly right. It's, you know, it's just simple things. Uh, there's a lot of mechanical tools that we use for our job. Uh, they're very high tech. And uh, we use those to quickly save people's lives. Mm -hmm. Minutes count. Yeah, so. and it helps us learn how to work with first responders instead of against your efforts to save our lives. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And you know, minutes count in everything. That's yes. why we're working on the exit drills in the home and trying to teach families how to get out safely and quickly. So. What is one thing that all of us can do that could potentially save our lives? Smoke detectors are the most simple thing that any of us can do. 
Well, that's it for this edition of Miller Realty Group's Talk of the Town Carolinas, brought to you by Fairway Insurance. Hey, if you're thinking of buying or selling your home, remember to call Carmen or visit carolinahomesearch.com. While you're there, you can see past episodes of Talk of the Town Carolinas. Until next time, stay safe. I'm Patty Mercer. Bye-bye.